Hello there, Bic Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War 1 Ultimate Edition on the PC, and this is my insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. We're currently on Act 4-6. It is entitled Entrenched. So I've got a long shot and a torque bow, and I'm wishing that I had a long shot over here. I couldn't find one anywhere, uh, only because this section is uh, close quarters fighting, and the long shot is not a good tool for uh, that sort of a scenario. The snub is good, but it's not as damaging as a Lancer would be. And this game doesn't accommodate weapon switching. They, the gears that is, they didn't know how to do it, I guess, back then, or they didn't want to. But on this section, the gate's going to get blown open, and you're going to have locusts rushing you. There is, uh, I think, half a dozen of them. They will run in here. They will uh, charge you. They will throw grenades if they're gren grenadiers, and it is a um, a fairly easy part if you've got a lancer. But like I said, I, I just had the weapons that I'm carrying now, and I'm a little bit worse for the wear over here. So this is a probably one of the harder challenges of um, chapter four, entrenched. So once we clear on out of this chapter, we'll be on the final act. And the Ultimate Edition, like the 2007 PC release, has the additional chapters of Act 5. And to be honest, I really don't like the additional chapters. I'm glad that the campaign is longer, and new content is always great. But they, I don't know, the, the new chapters, we can talk about them when we get there. But they just don't feel that good. So anyway, once you've done searching the lab over here in the cutscene, you're going to go back the way you came. And there's going to be uh, two wretches that assail you. One of the main problems that you can get killed by a wretch is um, if there's multiple of them coming at you like that. And if you if you whiff on one of them and then you don't have enough stamina. It, it, it could just be a case where it's just one wretch actually. Um, but you, you whiff on the first hit and then you're waiting for your stamina to regenerate. Um, why am I saying it like that? Like, we're not playing Dark Souls. We're not playing a piece of shit game. We're playing a great game. And I'm just kidding about that, actually. I have to be in a very specific frame of mind to play Dark Souls. I can't just, you know, come back into it. Um, but I think that's like that with a lot of games. But not so much this game. This is uh, more of a, of a game that you can just pick up and play. But, yeah, the dangers of whiffing on a wretch get killed quite a bit on something like that. Okay, now that we've cleared on out of here, we're going to get those grenades that I mentioned in the last video. So remember, two wretches at the beginning, and then uh, a wretch uh, on either side of that uh, wine cellar area, and then uh, a final, uh, final locust. Okay, and then when you get in here, there should be nine wretches. I remember 9 from last time, it was just a number that stood in my head, so just feel free to do whatever you want. Just don't r interact with the wheel in the, pr in the previous area that we just left, because you can't interact with it and it will break the stage somehow. I remember doing that last time. It's not a game-breaking issue, um, but you might have to restart the game or the chapter. Something just wrong happens. And it's just a shame that... Like I said in other videos, they take something new and they f and they break it through no fault of you know they're not, they're not trying to break it. They you know when you tinker with stuff, stuff uh, other stuff breaks. It's like a domino effect. But I should say that once you've cleared the the ninth and final wretch, the door will um, open and you will have this guy uh, coming for you. I'm not sure what he was. He's dangerous though. Okay, so now that we're gonna we're gonna go back up to the second floor, and it's it's interesting if you've just played the PC version uh, from 2007, because they've um, if you look at the differences, they've added a lot of little details. I think they put weights in one of the room, like a bunch of weights and barbells. They put a bed in the room that um, I'm gonna hole up in and throw some grenades in. I'll point it out in a minute. We'll be there in about five seconds. But once you come up here, you do get a checkpoint, and there's a um, uh, an onslaught that you're going to be fending off. Here's the room. On the original edition, that bed's not there. So 
I guess they felt bad that Marcus was masturbating on the floor, so they gave him a bed. Anyway, the number of locusts that you kill over here will pretty much determine how many come in the house, but you're going to get a lot of them in the house anyway. And if you're wondering um, why I'm wasting grenades, it's because I can pick up two in that room and then pick up two over here and, uh, and replenish all the ones that I used. And then I'm going to recommend that you come way over here with your torque and kill everybody who comes into this area. See that fucker that I just killed? Well, he he um he does he drops a torque that just disappears every time. It's it's broken. See stupid things like that. I mean, go looking for his torque, you'll never find it. You have to get the torque from the they're on guard that you you fight like that one might give it to you. Yeah, his fell right there, but the the Theron guard that comes in this house first, you you can never find that torque. It just disappears. Um, but when you get overrun by enemies, just come back up here and uh, and dig in. Now, if you want to, and if you're good enough, you can um, you can kill everybody that marches into the house with a torque boat, instantly killing them. But the problem is, sometimes they come in in twos. Sometimes they come in and coyly hide and take cover, so you can't always um, get them before they come in. Um, but they do come in through the flames and enter the foyer of the house. And uh, do not go anywhere near the fire by the front door because it automatically kills you. So you don't want that. And then you've got this situation where you can get um, overrun by locust over here and flanked. Very easily flanked. So it, it would be a good idea to have a lancer, but I just, I cannot get my hands on a lancer for anything. And this is a bad situation over here too. I've got somebody trying to... Um, uh, get really close to me right here. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I think I pulled out a frag grenade and just uh, impromptu frag tagged him. Now there is a boomer that comes in here, but the funny thing is on my on my run over here, he got stuck and he was clipping on something outside and he couldn't enter the house. And it was only after I had because um, I heard him the whole time. There I could hear his roaring. Um, it was only until I hit him a couple times with the um, see the weight room. I'm not sure if that was there in the PC version before, uh, the inferior PC version. The PC version, that's a piece of goddamn shit. Um, see, I'm uh, I'm actually trying to. I hear I hear the boomer roaring, and he can make his way into this house and and up to this floor, but it takes him a long time. So at this point in time, I'm I'm trying to um, just assess where he is. He's obviously not in the house. So I'm, I'm actually trying to, um, there's, there's the splash of his boom shot up there. I was trying to target him and see if I could uh, spot him and kind of l generalize his location, but it's pretty clear that he's outside the house. This usually doesn't happen. He usually doesn't clip on anything, but hey, this is the ultimate edition, so, um, you know, things break when they shouldn't. Now, after two hits to the face, he does get unstuck, and he's going to march his way into the house. Just remember, you don't want him to kill you after all the progress you've made. So the easiest way to kill this guy is to um, wait until he fires his boom shot, because then after, he takes a long time to uh, to reload and fire again. So don't just fire at him you know, until you wait for him to fire, because you have no threat of dying if you wait and let him fire first. Okay. And then the game pulls a, a cheap tactic down here. It uh, it has a guy kick open a door and rush you. So don't go all the way down. Try to try to kill him with a frag grenade if you can. It's it's difficult to um, to kill somebody like that in that situation. But um, be careful. They, he can always come up here and put a lot of pressure on you. Okay. Now what you want to do is uh, scavenge the area. Pick up what you want. Um, having a power weapon going into 5-1 uh, is going to be extremely helpful. And if you don't have one, you're not going to be able to follow my strategy. So uh, take the torque, or if you have to, take the boom shot. Um, I would prefer and I would recommend the torque, of course, though. Okay, so if you're running low on frag grenades, there's some in this box here. And then um, kick up. See? can't fucking kick open the door because it doesn't connect all the way the ultimate edition broke it there are a couple of locusts in this courtyard down here and after a certain amount of time goes by you will get a uh, 
a hole to spawn. If you kill the kill one of these two guys quicker than the the hole is triggered to spawn, you'll just spawn this. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna torque it, and then um, the boards that are leaning up against the door, you can shoot the two boards, or you can just shoot the propane tank. And when you get down into the courtyard, you have um, one more task to do, one more small little fight. But on the original version, you had to do everything um, up, including the next fight on the same um, checkpoint. I mean, see, when was the last checkpoint? Do you remember when that guy busted out of the door a moment ago and we tried to grenade him? Um, after you, you get to that checkpoint, that's the last one you get of the stage. But um, you also get another one on the Ultimate Edition. So I'll show you where it is. But we first got to go out here, it looks like, to spawn this guy. The door's going to open. I remember there being more enemies on the original over here. I remember more than one guy. And I remember them being very aggressive. And that's why you will see me look around and kind of wonder why aren't there more enemies. But if you look on the screen at the bottom left in a couple of seconds, you're going to see the word checkpoint. You don't see that on the original edition or the 2007 uh, PC release. You don't see that. And because I was not feeling pressured because I got a checkpoint, um, I guess I wasn't worried about anything. So you won't see any edits over here because I did not die. There are way more enemies on the original edition. Look, there's just two boomers. There's way more enemies on the other version, but uh, that's not usually how it is. It, it's usually about the same as it was. Um, and look at there, I think something was about to hit me right there, but I crossed the finish line and I made it. And I guess we've made it home, as the title card said. We're, we're you know, marching our way in the long road home. Take care, all right?